This is uh, the Azura, which is the uh, the Microsoft uh, campus, and this is sort of to get to give you a feeling for what what is it really about? Where does it touch the ground? All this cloud is all very vague, but where does it get controlled from? So, and, and Microsoft has a campus in in, in Redmond, uh, of which one big uh, hole, one hole only, is is like an NOC, a network operating company, which in uh, the NOC is a very common uh, term in a telecom uh, uh, architecture. You always have a NOC to control the whole system. Well, that's here the case as well. What, what is this NOC doing? They call it the Cloud Collaboration Center. Um, that's very much kept out of the, the, the public domain for the reasons I think everyone now seems to more and more understand. Uh, they don't want to be regulated uh, for one. And there's a few more arguments. Uh, the, the health of the server. So does uh, does the system still run in a sustainable uh, way? The, the people sentiment. So so what are they picking up? And and that translates to data, and that translates to profiles. Uh, they call it people sentiment, which is a nice way of phrasing it. And the number of uh, DOS attacks, which obviously is uh, an increasing amount, so they they really uh, are constantly. It's war, it's a war room more or less because these attacks are are quite heavy. Uh, and then you get to the next thing: uh, is it compatible with, for example, GDPR? Uh, because you need to create blockers. Um, and blocker could be that uh, information about Orlando cannot be can only be stored. In a, a data set which relates to Germany, so then people around Germany should not be able to uh, get your data uh, because GDPR forbids mm -hmm. even Azure as uh, as the uh, the setup for uh, for Microsoft to share that with any other country than where the person is located, assuming that person acknowledge that they are okay with disclosure in the first place. Uh, a NOC, a NOC is a, a virtual control room, uh, and, 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 and is using the, the full capacity, full server parts around the world to to its optimum. So sometimes your private information will be stored in the Philippines. Sometimes it will be stored somewhere else. Uh, you don't know. You don't, you simply don't know. I, I I fail to believe that they actually worked out the, the mechanism in such a way that. They can comply with all the rules while still maintaining the balance and capacity. How to deal with virtual borders? You cross a border, you need to show your passport. Here we're talking about virtual borders. Your information, Orlando, will be shared, uh, will be sitting on a server in Russia, because that's where the space is at that particular point. So then you get to the next uh, slide. Um, which is this creation of virtual borders. So this GDPR single, where, where Europe is trying to create a single data market for Europe. Um, India, basically one example has uh, that no payment information is, uh, and all the names and identities of the ones who were paying, who were involved in that payment transactions are allowed to be exported. So, so you can't, if a transaction, that, Happens in India, and the whole um, the whole details on that payment transactions are kept in a digital system. Say you pay with your smartphone in India, and there's a lot of data around it. There's a digital uh, stream of data, string of data, and then the legislation in India says, well, you're not allowed to export that. So any one who runs uh, a, a data center in India needs to keep it within India and cannot export that data set to temporarily store it in Russia. This is all fairly recent, all these things. Uh, Russia uh, has basically says uh, even beyond that uh, data processed and stored on service in the territory. So if it's generated here, it should physically stay on service in this territory. And, and China basically blocks any international data flow. So there's no data flow from China allowed outside the country. But certainly no data flow from outside the country, uh, which can be placed on a server 
privately held server, let's uh, say that in, in that say in that way in uh, on the server in China. 